Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, originally based in Nashville, Tennessee, Maruja Sound is a cultural melting pot of street sounds and political commentary, sung in English and Espanol. Lead singer and songwriter Comandante Calavera's writing is heavily influenced by Latin American existential poetry and certain psychoactive substances. And their sophomore album, Gringolandia, is out now, and it's a record that uses sarcastic lyrics and hard rhythms to deal with immigration reform and basic human rights the way that only a true artist can. Did I mention that they all wear crazy masks? Check it out, it's Maruja, right here on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. Somos Maruja de San Diego, uh, and we're all about good times. Condenado a vivir, condenado a morir, condenado a querer. No hay amor en el vientre, tu madre te da calor. Maruja was born in Nashville, Tennessee. The KKK drove me away. And I had to come to San Diego, and then I found these guys in the middle of the road. It's like, uh, have you watched the Vidi Los Bandidos video for, I was it? Amigos. Queremos ser amigos? It's the same thing, really. I picked them up on the way from Nashville here. Yeah, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we got all kinds of characters. We came uh, along, I mean, uh, music obviously brought us together. Uh, like you said, it started in Tennessee, ended up in San Diego. Uh, got a phone call one day from uh, Comandante Calavera. And he's all like, dude, I'm starting the band together. Kind of Blues Brothers is a cliche, but that's how it happened. And within a year, here we are, Latino Nation. It's kind of like if The Clash and, 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 the, and the Queens of the Stone Age made real dirty love, and then nine months later, Maruja would, would be born. It's kind of like that. So it's kind of, it's very, there, there's a lot of dub influence, there's punk rock, there's, like I said, stoner rock. Um, and it's kind of everything we love, so we won't be bored. So you get a hodgepodge of cumbia, to punk rock, to, to scott, metal, to everything. To metal, to everything that we like. And, um, and we just stay true to our roots and what we're trying to do, and, and which is, you know, have the, the biggest party every time we play live, you know, that's, that's what we're all about. For everything from heart, heartbreak to what we don't like with the, with the political system to, drugs. you know, it's, it's all sorts of, like drugs, the dichotomy. Uh, of life, philosophy, you know, it's, it's everything. Like life, you know, music music is kind of our religion. It's our journey. It's, you know? it's our church. So, you know, when you want to go talk to your priest, it's kind of, we write songs, we play them. The San Diego scene is growing. Um, it reminded me a lot of what Seattle was in the in the early 90s, you know, there's, especially the Latin alternative scene, because you know, the, the American rock scene has is, is grown and it's been great, but I think this new Latin alternative scene that's brewing is, is amazing. There are so many bands. Tijuana is becoming a great hotspot for bands. And San Diego, you know, it's been having bands for the past five years, so it's, it's almost like a, a, bridge. a revival. A revival and, and, yeah, and a bridge between towns for Latin alternative music. <laughs> Maruja is a machine definitely that we're going forward with what we love to do, which is write music and perform and just get out there, you know. Uh, you guys, the door is always open. Come see us when we're in your town and experience what Maruja is.